everyone. Welcome to the stream today. We're back with another Horizon Call of the Mountain playthrough. Can you hear me? That's the main question, okay? That is the main question. But how are you all? You can hear me, brilliant. How are you all? It's a bit of a busy day, of course. You may have seen um, some things going on on our social channel, but if so, you know, I hope, I hope you're all excited. <laughs> that Burning Shores trailer though. How are, how are we all feeling? I don't wanna say anything like spoilery. So let me just see what people are saying first. <laughs> are you all super excited? I'm super excited. And the thing is as well, also I just realized I hit my microphone. The thing is, when I listened to that trailer, you may not know this, a little bit of inside information, but the CM team is always asked, well, not always, but mostly asked, if we can do the original voiceover for these trailers when they're being made. So whenever I watch that trailer, I could just, I'm just, it's just like weird because I just remember when I was saying those lines myself. <laughs> but um, I hope you've all enjoyed it. Yes, I know Seika, we love Seika already. We also have another character making a little return. Um, I can't remember who I was. I think I was Aloy and Nare was, was Seika and Anna, I can't remember who, Anna, were you in that one as well? But if the trailer, if you haven't seen it already, please go watch it. It is super exciting, super hype. I know we're super close now, super, super, super. We're super close to the, um, to the launch of Burning Shores next Wednesday. But today we're actually gonna focus on Horizon Cool of the Mountain. Um, so I'm just reading <laughs> what Anna is saying in the chat. Um, we're gonna focus on Cool of the Mountain with another playthrough. And today we are joined by another guest. Um, we are joined by Rob from Fire Sprite. I will let him introduce himself. Hello, Rob. How are you? Hello. Hello. Hi, everyone. It's uh, it's great to be here. Um, I'm Rob Sutton. I was the um, associate art director on uh, Horizon Call of the Mountain at, uh, at Fire Sprite. How was that experience for you? How long were you actually on the project as well? I, well, it was it was incredible. Um, I, I was on the project right from right from the beginning, so I can't even remember <laughs> how far back that was uh, i think yeah three three years three and a bit years i think um and it, yeah it was an in, incredible experience being such fans of the uh, horizon game anyway mm -hmm. and it was just a yeah just a really exciting opportunity to to kind of to to, to make another story in that universe it was just mind-blowing we're getting a lot of praise because the audio is working, but Soapy Bubbles also says, love the fit, Rob. They're loving your outfit. <laughs> Representing. I'm on, I'm on point. Yeah. <laughs> so could you tell us a bit about what your role, what associate art director means in like game development and what that meant on Horizon Core of the Mountain? Yeah, sure. I, I, I was really, I, I kind of sat with the the art team, so the environment art and the the, the the prop guys at Fire Sprite. And I kind of just worked with them to ensure that Gorilla's vision for, for what the game should look like was actually was actually realized. Um I would provide art briefs to the um to the, to, to the artists and the, the, the environment guys to work on yeah interactive props and uh weapons and things like that and and also uh, art briefs for the for the environments um and then we would provide feedback and enter into that kind of um development loop on the uh, on the on the actual iteration of these of these objects i i would meet regularly with the the um the art directors at, at gorilla and and discuss what we needed for for you know, different props or levels and things like that and then yet yeah, take it back to the art team and and make plans to set things in motion awesome and what um how did you become the associate art director what is the journey um through the industry to get to that role oh wait, well, it's <laughs> it's a long one <laughs> for me I, I mean i i started in like, like like a lot of developers i started in qa but a, a long time ago, but back in the uh, Cygnosis 
days w- way back um uh, yeah Cygnosis and Sony Studio Liverpool um yeah so I did a couple of years as a as a tester and then got a job as a, a trainee artist and then um we at the time we were making the the Formula 1 licensed games okay so I so I started as a vehicle artist on <clears throat> uh, Formula 1 and then Wipeout and yeah a few of the games and then later on when Fire Sprite formed I was one of the one one of the first artists to to start at Fire Sprite. Um, we were doing initially the, the playroom and and things like that, and the playroom VR, and then we made our own game, the the Persistence, um, and then straight off the back of Persistence, by by that point I'd kind of moved up to like senior artist, lead artist kind of level, and then over over the last few years, yeah, just moved up into the art direction role, purely because we built such a good team around us that I was able to actually just step into a, a direction role. Awesome. Um, someone says, whoa, loved um, Cygnosis games. That owl logo was the coolest thing to me as a kid. Yeah. Um, and Soapy Bubbles. Um, oh, a fellow Scouse, what a cool journey. Um, that is a very uh, interesting journey. I know, as you said, a lot of people do start in QA. Um, mm-hmm. And it's interesting to see how you became the associate art director. Um, what was it like working on a Horizon game? I mean, yeah, I, I, <laughs> you can imagine, pretty, <laughs> pretty exciting. Like I say, we, we like I'm, I was such a big fan of the game anyway. M- m- like pretty much all the team was a, ma- a massive fan of the game anyway, and it was, <clears throat> it was we, we we just especially with it being VR, it was like it it was our opportunity to kind of to provide a new viewpoint into this into this universe you weren't just seeing it from a uh, a camera hovering behind the player we were actually seeing it from the player's point of view and that meant the entire world was yeah it was a fresh pair of eyes kind of thing and that was that was really exciting what was the um like what was the process what was the um the steps that the team made to move um horizon from third person to VR to first person how how did that how does that happen because um we've had like different team members come on and talk about mm. how interesting or exciting it is for example when we had Richard on he was talking about the machines um but what did that mean for you and your team it's like with with anything in VR it it changes everything you can't mm. just use the same graphics the same models the same control systems it, none of it none of it works in vr you have to reinvent everything so it was even things like the simple control systems we went through many many iterations of controls just to find something that works well in vr you know you can't just have the vr player jumping around like like aloy does yeah. doing somersaults and things it's just you can't do that in vr so that in turn kind of that that um that that makes it certain game design choices that you can and can't do and things like that so it's all it, it's all very vr specific and it was the same with the with with the art and the environment it's with that, such a unique viewpoint the environments have to be built from the point of view of the player you have to make sure that every every vista that you that you look at has got a huge drop and looks spectacular you can't just yeah, you, you can't just rest on 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 laurels from before. So it's uh, it's just a unique set of challenges <laughs> at yeah. every step. Um, I have a question. What was your favourite thing to work on for Call of the Mountain? Just one. <laughs> well, you said that you were on the whole the whole project. Yeah. Um, yeah, so yeah. yeah, I can imagine you have many to pull from. Um, yeah. But let's start with just one, and then if you have more, please please share them. I mean, I I really enjoyed. I I I was looking after the 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 props team who were who were coming up with all the, well, first of all, all the interactive objects that we find around the levels. So we were concepting them and designing them, but also the weapons and tools that that the play well that Reyes uses in in the game. So that was super fun to do. You know, something simple like a, a you know a bow. A bow mm-hmm. and arrow kind of thing it's it it was rebuilding all those all those assets with the 
the right amount of detail that we could actually see in the new PSVR 2 headset and kind of just making those things feel fun. Just just going through that whole process from from initial concept sketch right the way through to the final the final thing. That was really rewarding. I really enjoyed doing those things. Did you want to um, show off the prop that you were mentioning as well? Yeah. Since you're talking about props anyway, this, this, this might be a good cool. time. <laughs> it was. It was one of the one of the interactive objects that we had. One of the law objects in the game was a, a statue of the the Karja Sun King, yep. Sadahin. And after we'd concepted it and then modelled it in in game, one of our developers, a programmer named Anthony who was a bit of a 3D printing wizard, <laughs> went and, is that in focus? Went you've and got, actually, yeah, yeah and, and printed out one of these beautiful statues. Well, actually he printed out one for every member of the team. Oh, that's fantastic. And, um, and hand painted them and the, it's just so cool. And I never ever imagined that we would, that we would get anything like this. The chat is loving this, they're loving this prop. Uh, I knew they would. It's mine. It's mine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, OMG, I'll order 10. <laughs> <laughs> OMG, love. I know, I love it too. I need to put a request in. I feel like <laughs> I need one of these too. It would, be, it would look great in the room. Um, I also wanted to ask, because you mentioned the bow, um, and this yeah. is something that I myself am a bit interested in. I have heard other team members um, talk about giving the bow like a piece of personality because it's like the only... Thing that you see of Reyes as well as, as his gloves um, mm. that you see of him you know like from the start um, yeah. how do you give personality to something that in maybe in Horizon the, the mainline games we're talking Horizon Zero Dawn Horizon Forbidden West like the bows don't really have a personality because obviously you can see Aloy's outfits you see the way she looks so mm. how do you give a bow or a, another prop if you want to talk about those two how do you give those personality I mean, the the bow was the, the 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 superstar object, and it was it was only really when we started to understand who the player was, this Reyes, this kind of you know, ex Shadow Karja with all his history. It was only really when we started to understand that that we were able to apply some of that thinking to his bow. He was he was a proud Shadow Karja warrior. But then he he kind of turned his back on that on that lifestyle, and he was ashamed of it. So so we were able to start with a standard shadow card your bow, but then he's made modifications to it over time, and kind of scratched off certain you know insignia and things just to yeah. kind of distance himself from it. But he's a soldier first and foremost, so he wants to, he likes the way the bow feels. You know those types of uh, yeah that, that that kind of thing. It's that attachment that he's got to this to this bow. Um, and th and that was really that just came from yeah we had the, the concept artists working on it but we were also sitting with the, the the narrative team at Gorilla just to just to kind of go through this this process of what what is what is Reyes thinking and, yeah. and and what would he do? Oh, awesome! And you also mentioned earlier you were talking about like vistas. Is there anywhere in the game that you were like? you just love seeing come together for the end product or even like um, it doesn't just have to be a vista, but just like an area that you walked through that you were like, wow, like, look at this. Yeah, uh, so many. And I'm going to I'm going to upset so many of the environment <laughs> artists if I, pick, <laughs> if I pick one. But for me, my, I think my, my favorite level in the game is um, I think it's mission five is where we're kind of climbing through this um, abandoned old world uh, old ones kind of military base mm -hmm. and we've got this it, it was super difficult to do which is i think why i enjoyed it so much is that we've got two or three different storylines going on in the same environment we've got the the ancient story of the um of the the old ones yeah. war you know with the corruptors and the and the death bringers and things yeah but then on top of that we've got a layer of the story from our game that's happening in the same environment plus there's a thunder jaw on the loose <laughs> as well so it was like from an environmental storytelling point of view that was extremely challenging but really fun now when i i go back into that level um i, I think i think we nailed it i think it's, it's really good fun and you can tell 
that yeah. sort of things got messed up there. <laughs> yeah, and as you said, you worked on the project from uh, like beginning to end. Do you ever look mm -hmm. back on how the product, uh, how the project began? Um, if you're ever looking at like behind the scenes footage and then compare it to what was released, um, what like sense does that give you? I, I imagine the team is super proud, like thrilled. And also I did want to ask like, how was it stepping into the world for the first time when it was finished and just being like, okay, you know, it's done. Uh, how, how was that for you? It's, yeah, it's, it's really, uh, because you're on it for so long, it's really difficult to keep uh, to kind of stay impartial to that because you're seeing it all the time so you don't really notice those incremental changes yeah it's only when you get somebody else to come along and play the game for the first time and you see their reactions yeah and you realize that oh wow yeah <laughs> this <laughs> actually does look incredible you know so the first time we would put new people into the into the, the headset in in the river ride and, and see their reactions it it was just like yeah, just so rewarding to see their real reactions at, at that time. Yeah. Um, and I think the, the, one of the first times I actually realized that we have got something like incredible was mm -hmm. there was uh, mission two, no, mission four, sorry, where we were climbing up the, the sun spear. The, the surrounding environments for that, um, for that level was like one of the, one of the, the 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 latest things that we did so for the long time there was no real vista there so as you're climbing up this mountain it was in a an empty you know an empty Box. test level yeah, yeah empty level yeah yeah and then i remember the first time after the guys had checked in the um or they had added the the environment and you top out at the top of that mountain and all of a sudden there's this huge vista with the waterfalls and and all the steam and birds flying and it was just like where did that come from? And that, and that was incredible. That yeah, that was one of those moments where you're suddenly forced to realise, yeah, that's 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 made a a, a big step. Yeah, yeah what yeah. an achievement. We do yeah, have yeah. a question from Hercules. I'm not sure if this is one that you can answer, but I'll ask it just in case. Okay. Hercules says, I played the game for a bit and the bow felt like it had weight behind it. How do you achieve that when the player isn't holding a physical object in their hand? It's totally okay if you're if you can't answer this, by the way. <laughs> No, you, you, you're absolutely right, and I, I, I'm not entirely sure. But that this was the type of um, that this was the type of interaction that the certainly the, um, the the prop designers went to a lot of trouble to actually simulate weight in in objects that you pick up, and it's it's witchcraft if if you ask me. That's how they do it. <laughs> for sure um we are going to come up to the end of this um, little interview section now um sir mammothy says i love these friday cool the mountain streams are like gaia cast episodes and spirit love it i'm glad to hear that i did want to ask you rob is there anybody that you'd love to like shout out any memories that you'd love to from development that you'd like love to share with us just before you head out in terms of a, a shout out it, it, it's it's going to have to be to the, the the entire Horizon Call of the Mountain team at, at Firesprite. Certainly, we, we, we've we've built such an amazing team over the past couple of years at, at Firesprite, and I just could could not be more proud of what we've actually built. Yeah, everyone from art to code to design, the even the, the production development managers and the audio guys at Pitstop. It was um, it was like a, a big effort. To, to 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 pull this all together and uh, yeah, I could not be more proud. And the the the, the directors at Fire Sprite as well for all their support. Halo says, but, "Oh, so sweet." <laughs> <laughs> but more importantly, though, it's a, a big thank you to everyone at, at, at Gorilla for all the support during during this development. I mean, we were really made to feel part of this big family, and it, it was you know it, it, we really got brought into that family. And we had so much support from yeah, from Jan Bart, Angie, Tim, Ilya, all the way yeah, all the way through the entire development. So thank you so much. It was uh, it's been it's been a privilege. Kirsty says shout out Fire Sprite. Sloppy Bubble says you should be proud. For sure, it's a stunning piece of gaming, and you could tell the love is there for the franchise. Thank you for taking care of it. With that, Rob, I thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed yep. this little interview um, and getting to interact with the Horizon community directly on stream. Um, thank you so much for joining. 
Um, I'm sure we'll we'll speak again after this. But um, if you just wanted to say a quick bye, and then we're going to go back to a the back soon screen when I'm going to bring Lucas on and we're going to jump into gameplay. So thank you, Rob. Oh cool. yeah, thank you very much. I've I've enjoyed it. Enjoy the stream, everyone. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back after this, everyone. We'll see you in just a minute. Hello everyone, we are back. Are you still able to hear us? Do you wanna? Hello. <laughs> Hi everyone. Has, have we done it? Is this like the first stream without audio issues? Yes, we can hear. We, Lucas just came in and the, the, the controllers wouldn't turn on and there was like a good 30 seconds of panic. <laughs> And it. I was thinking, oh no, like starting the stream with like no audio issues, everyone was like, oh, you did it. And then straight away, oh, <laughs> but I think it's happening, people. I think this might be it. I'm not trying to jinx it, but I'm getting excited. I'm getting excited. The magic stream, anything is possible. Yes, I'm feeling uneasy from everything working well. I know. A little thing? What thing? What do you mean? What do you mean? But yes, we are back. We're going to jump into Horizon Call of the Mountain. We're going to play for a bit. Um, I don't actually know for how long because we technically only have half an hour left. So it may just be half an hour today, but we'll see how we get on. Hi, Lucas, says Brianna. Hello. <laughs> yes, but how are we all doing? Did you enjoy that little um, interview with Rob? The Fire Sprite guests are so kind. They like love joining these streams as well. Oh, just that the controllers didn't turn on? Oh, I'm glad, I'm glad. Also, how cool was that prop? When he said that they all have one, I was like, hang on, I want one too. <laughs> there, there is one in this office. If oh, is there? Yeah. Where is it? Um, over near our desks. Really? I'll show you afterwards. I've never seen it before. Yep. Do we have it out there for a reason? Can we ever, can we bring it in for like the next one? 
Okay. okay. We'll ask. Okay. I'll have to go back to the VOD. I only caught the tail end of Rob. Yes, we'll also, of course, be uploading this to YouTube afterwards. Um, this is a great format. I'm so glad to hear it. I think we, I think we've hit the the jackpot by doing these little um, dev interviews with the Call of the Mountain streams. That prop was awesome. I know, I loved it so much. When he like showed it to me just before the stream, I was like, he was like, oh, I don't know if people will be interested. And I was like, you better take that out because they're gonna love that. <laughs> really interesting hearing from the team. I know we've had a nice mix as well, both Fire Sprite and Gorilla uh, guests, which has been really cool. But yeah, do you wanna jump in? I feel, I feel yeah. already, I feel ready to head on in today. I haven't actually, been on a Cool the Mountain stream for like a month now. Um, we had to keep canceling them for a little bit. But now it's like, ooh, I haven't actually seen any Cool the Mountain for like a month. So I'm excited to see. I don't even know where we are anymore. Um, the last time we just caught up with Bryce's brother, who oh, then okay. shot the, uh, the control panel for the cable car. So we need to find some parts now to repair that. Okay. Sounds cool. Right, we are in. Gameplay on. Yeah, YouTube, I did see the Burning Shores launch trailer drop today, so I look forward to checking that out once Lucas has eaten enough apples. Yep, we need to find more apples. <laughs> we only ate around 16 last time, so <laughs> not enough. Show us backstage. Where are you trying to go, Halo? You're trying to see the office? I did actually let someone in um, to the building earlier to take a picture with the stalker statue. There was like a family outside by the doorbell. If you ever go past the office, you'll see that we have an Aloy like uh, screen, a screen of Aloy. Like it's like a, you know, like a monitor um, that you can use as a doorbell. And I let these people in because I was like, hey, take a take a picture. And the person that came in, like took off their coat, took off their flannel and they were wearing such a nice Aloy shirt. And they were like taking pictures with the stalker. I was like, oh, I love like, you know, people coming in and showing their love for the for the franchise. But then they took like 100 photos. I was like, yes, you know, we got to get that angle. We got to get the best possible photo. I was like, I need to go upstairs now. So you have to go out. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mum. How are you? Have a lovely weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Weather's supposed to be picking up next week as well. Very nice. Okay. That's it. I intend to drop by when I'm in Amsterdam in August. Yeah. Also, feel free to um, if we if we have the time. Obviously, the people today. I don't think they actually tried to contact us or anything um, and it was just by chance that I was going past um, but do feel free to let us know because if we're ever able to let you in to take a quick sneaky pic with the stalker we love to do that I also just had like an image of you punching the stalker yeah, statue, but I, it's, it's, it's back, it's fine. I think I did that last time. <laughs> no, it I seems a bit, a bit out scared. the way. <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to TwitchCon Paris? Um, I don't know if we will be. Will we finally be united, Halo? Why is everything you bring me broken? That box wasn't the only thing I found. Where it left its brooch, the arrow of the sun by that winch rope thing. The remotely activated pulley system. Or it worked his whole life to earn that mark of honor from the Sun King. So why would he leave it? All I know is he set off to the Sun Sphere to get ahead of that Thunderjaw. And he left us both behind. Whoever this is Sarah is, she's gotten under Urid's skin. He's obsessed with her. Ooh. Feel free to do whatever you want. Cool. Who is a Sarah? Who is a Sarah? Do you realize what the Karja did to the Osram during the Red Raids? Whole families disappeared, whole settlements. For some people, the war isn't over. It never will be. So she's a fanatic? Says the man who joined the followers of the dead Sun King even though they wanted to continue killing. To her followers, she's not a fanatic. She's justice. That's interesting. 
Are you sure you can fix that transmitter? Only if you can find the components. When did Ord meet us, Sarah? He never met her. Murad sent us to investigate a supply column that had gone missing near the border of Banuk territory. Everyone had been killed. It is... <sighs> I haven't seen anything like it since the Red Raids. Except this time all the bodies were Karja. Urid was furious. He screamed at the mountains. I've never seen him like that before. He wanted to track the guys who'd done it, but they'd crossed the border. Murad stopped us from following. Then Vinuk told us Asera was dead. I'll find Asera. You need to find those components first. <laughs> it's super expensive 75 euros for one day twitchcon was in um, amsterdam last year but yeah this uh this year it's moved to paris i genuinely have no idea if we'll be attending this year me and baby z having a chat cute i, can I miss that big like baby a sun disk. Okay, Bridge. Time to meet my new sun disk. Off we go. On another adventure. She is vengeance. She is the night. She is a Sarah. <laughs> Are you going, Halo? Ow. No. Rats. <laughs> it's good that we have another one. <laughs> yes, yeah. very nice. First try. Nice. <laughs> nice Time to find the components Riddell needs to fix the transmitter. No First point if you're not going, First Halo. I get back on the trail of my brother and the Osram he's so obsessed with catching. If I don't catch up with them in time, can Ord really stop a Sarah alone? find these components quick I got told off last time for not hitting enough of the beacons well so. I told you we were doing a hundred percent run the first time yes. and it, you I mean I go one. for one <laughs> I go for one week and now it's it's out of our grasp is that what you're telling nope. me we'll, we'll, we'll go back <laughs> we can always go back <laughs> This is one of the things you were talking about in the interview beforehand as mm -hmm. well, is the weight that it puts on different objects. Yeah. And it's like these metal crates, if you compare these to the plastic ones, really do feel... Heavier. Yeah. Yeah. It's... More substantial. It is witchcraft. <laughs> that's, that's all. Rob had it exactly right. Ooh. I have a request, can we yeet the metal container? Will it go far if it's so heavy? No, I'm too weak. <laughs> Let's try. Right, hopefully I don't hit the stalker. I thought it was just going to like land at yeah, your that, feet. Yeah, that would have been awkward. <laughs> you did well, Lucas. Thank you. If they we will. do a poll, will Gorilla go to Twitch called Paris? Will you abide by the results? But how many people would go? How many people would be there? Because of course our priority when we go to events anyway is that we get to interact with the community. Oh, I just realized what this is. I'm excited. Reyes can climb incredible heights in a single bound. Also Reyes, I can't lift this crate, I'm too weak. <laughs> Time for crab. Oh no, not this dude. <laughs> Are Gorilla planning on attending any events this year would be so cool. I don't know, I really don't know at the moment. Yeah. Oh no, it wasn't this <laughs> Nice. Ooh, very nice. I 
as I said, like the thing is for us, the thing that we prioritize is being able to see the community at these events. So I think for us, one of the things that we really have to consider is how many people would actually be at this one if we were to attend it. But I, I really don't know um, our plans for this year at the moment. We need some apples. Huh? Give us an apple. Yes, just, just give me a healthy minute. again. Oh, oh I have oh, actually God. seen one of these little. Please leave us alone. We're sorry. Chomp the apple. Apple count one. Needed more apples. <laughs> what was you know that you've played a lot of this game? What would you say is the toughest machine to fight? Um. I think this is one of my most difficult ones, but there are some where you fight four or five scrappers at once. Yeah. And that can be pretty difficult because you, you've got to dodge from so many angles. Yeah. Whereas this one. At least this is the one. Yeah. Although it does have a lot of different attacks. To be fair though, the Shell Walker can be a tough enemy because of the shield. Just in general, like if we're talking about the Horizon games in general. Yeah. Like the Shell Walker can be tough, so I'm not surprised if it was the same in VR. Like you've always got to try and shoot the crate off as well. Yeah. Because you want to get that loot as well. Give us the loot! <laughs> OMG, that's terrifying. I've never seen one of those. I mean, I've seen the Thunder Jewel stomp, of course, but I've never seen one of the... Yeah, like end screen yeah. fights. Each each robot and each machine in the game has its own kind of kill cool. animation like that one. We've got a dime off it. Ah. <laughs> I'll try not to. <laughs> I'm just giving you a way out again. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm <laughs> doing it for the stream. If you're going to Gamescom, I'm hopping on the first train to Cologne. We were there last year. I take it out. Maybe we'll be there this year, I have no idea. That should help. It was great to do it, like a little meet. For Horizon games in general, Rock Breaker is the hardest to me. I think mine is always a flying uh, enemy. I like to think I'm quite precise, so then once I'm like looking up and I'm playing at a weird angle, um, I think yeah, flying is like unforgiving if you're trying to be precise. So the fang was hard for me. The glint hogs. Ah! <laughs> yes! Now what you can phone up. <laughs> Just gonna punch us. <laughs> I don't want to be punched. <laughs> Please go away. Please go away. This is menacing. It's going too close. Yes! There very nice. One thing's for sure. The Ashram didn't let that shell walker just wander around when they were camping here. A trophy, let's so go! Yeah, it's very nice. I think Stormbird was my deadliest nemesis in Forbidden West. Either that or the slaughter spine. Can you actually punch machines to do damage? Have you ever tried? I imagine it would hurt us more than them. I don't think so. Watch out! There? <laughs> These fights are like a workout for sure. Oh. That'll keep me going. I fried up that shell walker and sewed it with a side of butter. It's <laughs> butter, baby. I'm sure we don't need that. <laughs> Good. Oh. <laughs> no. Oh, God. What are going wrong? Ooh, more apples. If only we saw them earlier. Physics. Oh. 
I need to use more special I'm arrows. Full. <laughs> what have we got? We got a we got a nice range of ammo. Let's make some more of these. Tear is the best, in my opinion, type of um, ammo. I'm going to use them a bit more. The sound. Very nice. Yeah. We'll use them. <laughs> Nice little crate for us. Walking towards the next health. Yeah, baby. Very yeah. nice. I just saw the trailer for Burning Shores. Hype is real. And not long to go now, people. I'm glad. I'm glad to see so many excited people in the chat. Just sparker. Not long is already too long, but it really is not long now. Considering when we first announced here, looking back, it feels like time's gone quite quite fast, actually. Sounds That's good. our secret, Shande. We're always excited. Good. Uh, I walked straight into an awesome trap. <laughs> very nice. Yes, very nice. Ooh. They're getting a bit feisty. Shoot some eyes. Yeah. Shoot very precise. Should I grind for legendary weapons before burning shores? I have none. Nah. And nay, nah, if you got through the Forbidden West with a nice loadout, you'll be alright. It's all about finding weapons that you enjoy more than anything in my opinion. Go away, please, Grandpa. It really is a good workout. I play standing up and my arms are exhausted by the end. I'm still working on trophies from the training area. Are you, um, are those the only ones left for the platinum? Whoa! How many are there? <laughs> what has happened? Give us an apple. Nice little food break. Yeah. <laughs> I'm scared. Yeah, well. Do you have to take out the machine lures too? Uh -huh. Oh my gosh. This is brutal. Did you just... Did someone die? Yes. Very nice. Yes, I've got everything else. Very nice. Did you enjoy it? Did you enjoy your playthrough? Your first one at least? Oh, but well, let's see the animation. Ah, oh my gosh. I've been expecting you, Mr. Barber. <laughs> but they look like such a cute little cat. Do we have to take out the machine lures then? Let me give it a whirl. I don't know, it doesn't feel like we're doing much. Sound good. I think we're just whacking now. Awesome Your tear blast was a good first one though, for the scrapper. Yeah. You did manage to get it down quite a lot. Oops. We're just using shock now, baby. <laughs> OMG, that is terrifying. That was even more horrifying. It was like grinding us. It looked, like, it looked like it was gonna like grind our legs to bits. 
Yes, nice, nice. I love the game. Yeah, we're so glad to hear it. Never thought about how much it would hurt to fight a machine now. I hope you all feel a, feel a bit more cautious when you're sending Aloy into the wild. <laughs> Wearing like Kaja plays on some sandals or something, and you're making her go through like a frozen tundra with loads of machines. This is so chaotic. Yeah, this is what I mean against the shell. It's not two shells, it's just one. <laughs> it's usually get against all of them. Listen, I'm glad it's you and not me. You can switch if you want. No, 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 that's no. okay, that's okay. <laughs> Scrapper, now you are the meat smoothie. Stealth only from now on. Throw the, an apple at them. Ooh, good part. Try that. VR is harder than it looks. And it looks tough. This fine. Ooh, it's tough. These, like, the watchers with, um... Ooh, very nice. With, like, the multiple, like, the five shots coming out. They are intense. Reyes needs to eat faster. <laughs> we need to speed up that eating. Okay, I feel good. I feel like we're back in like a good spot now. You got some good health. Very nice. Yes, very nice. Yes. Oof. What a comeback. Very nice. I better make sure that more switched on. I need some apple. <laughs> In real life. Getting hungry. <laughs> I saw some brownies. Are you taking oh, one yeah. of those? Oh, I'll go with brownies again. Yeah. I bought in some brownies today because tomorrow is my two year anniversary at Gorilla. Um, and I was just making everyone eat them. I was like, eat this brownie. We have a couple left. I bought way too many, I think. I still have like six in a box. So. I know, two years already. Very nice, Lucas. That was a tough fight. That was. Yeah. <laughs> Slapping it doesn't do anything. <laughs> Where is my brownie? You'll have to come in. You'll have to Thanks come over. I know, two years already. And think of everything that's happened since then. <sighs> Launched the whole game. Yeah, this run must have been testing the lures here. And now they've stopped. And if they've moved on. You're getting too brave now. Nice now you're like, I don't need the apples. <laughs> Full health is. again. <laughs> We're all good. Must be ready. Lucas, do you happen to have a meeting after this? Nope. Okay. No, I'm free for the day. I think maybe we, if we try and complete like a main quest, I think that'll put us in a good place. Yeah. Imagine yeah. how much more healthy you'd want. How, imagine how much more health you'd gain from brownies. The thing is, when I moved here, like, it's really easy, I feel, to find brownies in England, but it's way tougher to find them in the Netherlands. So for ages, I was like, man, I just want a good brownie. And then we had a guest come to the studio and they brought these brownies in. And then I've been like, I just need an occasion to bring them in as well. So then when I was like leaving my house this morning, I was like, what if I just brought the brownies in? <laughs> But then um, people thought I'd actually made them. And I was like, listen, I'm not that good. I'm a terrible baker, a terrible cook. You were, you were speaking then as if you needed a reason to bring in brownies. And true, I just, I just true. I just want to say, there's, 
You don't need a special These occasion. were expensive Anytime. brownies, though, I won't lie. So, like, it's good that I had an occasion. Because they were like, you, you buy, like, five, you get one three. Uh, free, rather. So then they were like, um, oh, if you buy two more, you get two for free. And I was like, okay, cool. So then I just bought, like, way too many. And then the price, I was like, um, I think you added a zero where you should have. <laughs> but I have some spare anyway. And I brought like Oreo, biscuit, strobe waffle, and um, like plain. So a nice little assortment as well. So brownies would be like a full heel. I love brownies, oh my gosh. That would be a full heel for me. That is fascinating because in the US, Amsterdam being mentioned tends to lead to brownies specifically being mentioned for sure. But like, um, yeah, it's actually tough. It, it's really tough to find a good brownie, especially. You can find them on occasion, but they're usually a bit dry. But these ones are like very fudgy, but they are like, they, they say that they're, they're American brownies. Also, I just, I just remember yesterday that we managed to get through that whole stream without food talk. And now look at us. You're making me want brownies. I just want them all the time. Look at me. Chasing all red, saving a sun. I'm gonna make brookies for everyone. Yes. Bring bring some we to can me, fix please. That transmitter. Do you ever get like vertigo while you're playing? Or has that like worn off? Or did you ever have it? I there's, there, there was one or two points earlier on where it was like, nope, I don't want to look down. <laughs> but he is not now it's not too bad. Mm-hmm. Because I've played it quite a bit. But in, in real life, it's like, I love climbing. Oh, right. I just don't like getting to the top. <laughs> which, eh, Because it's, it, you get to the top, look down, and it's like, what am I doing? Yeah. I hate this. This is horrible. When I was younger, I was like a girl guide. So I went to a lot of like camps. And um, the amount of times they'd be like, let's do a climbing wall. And I'd be like, please, I, I don't want to. I don't enjoy physical exercise. And they were like, let's do a climbing wall. And I'd be like, okay. And I'd go up, I'd go up, and I'd feel like, woohoo, I achieved it. And then they'd be like, come back down. And I'd be like, ah, oh, <laughs> I don't want to do that. I do not want to abseil down. I don't want to look down. That was always the worst part for me. They always have a 20 seconds lifespan when I bring some at work. Same with banana bread. The thing is, I don't like bananas, but I like banana bread. I guess it's just because it's so sugary, so sweet. Above all else, I just love sugary things. Oh no! Ooh. Ooh. Oh! 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 Look at you! <laughs> what a curse! Nice shot, OMG. I know. You should have you should have acted like that was real. Like it was, you meant to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pro gamer. I did not panic. It was real. <laughs> this part was awesome to play. That was impressive. I'm excited. I haven't actually seen this part, so I'm excited. Armor. Some more health, very nice. The ladders look so satisfying to climb. They are. <laughs> The Horace looks good. Shade, have you tried playing this game? I've played a bit of him. Looks like a wire board. But because I don't it's have my own VR2 headset, I don't need to be able to play it in the in the office really. But um, obviously when we were pre-release. They were all being used all the time to make like the trailers, the screenshots that you saw. So I didn't really play much pre-launch. I did play a bit of it though. 
like the riverboat ride especially was very very cool to experience and i do have a vr1 headset at home so i would say i'm i'm, I'm okay in vr We didn't even see it land. Good throw. Yeet complete. Hi, Pash. Welcome. Some nice views. This game has some great views. I mean, Horizon always does, but I feel like it is just a little bit different experiencing it in first person. Better have my pickaxes ready. Yeet complete. No easy feat. I never managed to find my VR legs. It can be tough, but I think it's all just about how much you play. And I do think there are like levels to it. I think this game might be tougher than most, but if you're playing a game where you're like primarily stood still for a while, something like Beat Saber, for example, and then you transition to something where you're like moving, but there's not like a lot of verticality, and then you'll be able to sort of go in and play something like this. It's all about the exposure, I think. I think it's a lot easier if you're if you're if you play something where you're stood still first. This must lead up to the ruins on the side. Oh no, it's <gasps> one of these. <laughs> Back again, another one. <laughs> How prepared do you feel you are? It could be first try. After the last time, <laughs> I, I, I don't know anymore. The bee for believe, let's, let's get the bees in people. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> yes, <laughs> get your bees in people. Should we do a poll? Halo, could you make one quickly? How many tries it will take? If, if at all. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe we should just wait. Give Halo a little chance to make a poll. Oh, ciao, ciao. Thanks for joining. See you next time. feel confident. How many tries, please vote. I'm gonna vote too. Let's go look over here. I'm not gonna tell you what the what it is until you've completed it. Oh, okay. Cool. Because I think uh, I don't want it to sway or <laughs> I don't want it to influence you. Oh, good eye. Very nice. Another target down. Okay. What? Okay. <laughs> okay. You feel ready to jump in? I'm. I'm. I. I. I think it will. I say two times. Okay. That's outrageous, everyone. <laughs> Hi, Larissa. How are you? If if everyone voted for about twenty times, it's because they saw the last live stream. <laughs> The community is never wrong. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it is like yeah. weird when the camera like comes back to the room. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Backstage. You can actually see a little bit of the streaming room in um, um, the like video that we posted on the um, Life of Gorilla channel, the pinned one. You can see me and Anna in the streaming room. 
and the camera like pans around a little bit. I'm doing good, Shante, how are you? All the better for seeing you, Larissa. Okay. No! no. <laughs> ah. Shafted. Nearly. Shafted. I feel like we've got a, something good going on this time. <laughs> we've got a flow. Last time there was nothing. <laughs> Only pain and suffering. <laughs> Oh. No. <laughs> Hi from Mexico. Wow, we. Oh. Hello from oh. France. Oh. Is that going to count? I think it does it. Stand strong. Yes. Okay. The community voted 19. I think wow. that's three. I I I was fully with you on 19. <laughs> It's um, it's also because they uh, we were doing some stuff yesterday and they voted 19 then as well. I think they just like the number. Yeah. They just have no faith in us. Fair. Three. <laughs> I can't do three. three. One. What? What? Three. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I chose two tries. I voted three. All right. Be honest. Who voted three? You get a little pat on the back. I said three, very nice. Oh! Yeah? It just flew out into the air. We have faith, it's just very diluted. I voted one, I had faith that Lucas would succeed. He still did, he still did. <laughs> what, <last time. laughs> well, you didn't do it last time? Did no. you leave it? The best bit of that stream was me getting frustrated and just throwing a rock far in the distance <laughs> and leaving it. Which is probably why 19 was more of The a front risk. runner. Ah. Oh my gosh, please that's up. Oh. That's why I voted 19, I'm so sad about last time. But Halo, you made the poll. <laughs> You could have put in a hundred. Why did you go for 19? Because that's probably how many I did last time before I threw the rock. We need like a, a little counter. Yeah. We need a counter of how many apples, how many tries it takes. Oh, because of yesterday? That's fair. This game looks incredible. Thank you, we're glad to hear it. Every poll needs one of two options, 19 and mittens. Get the mittens out of here. I'm sick of people voting mittens. I will put that outfit on all the time. Although, I really liked the outfit last uh, yesterday. The pink looked so good. No mittens as long as I'm here. <laughs> 19 and no mittens should be the options. Right, big jump. One for Flair. Sanjeev was very proud of being able to throw these and then catch them. Oh, so it's another big jump. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. It's a tough <laughs> one. I'm tied for you. <laughs> yes. This is my favourite set piece ever. I can't wait for Burning Shores. Yay, we're glad to hear it. Not long to go. The excitement is ever building as we get closer. DM from Arno who said she knows where I live, so I better say mittens are the best. <laughs> <laughs> uh 
Up we go. Looks like more of the water board things I need. Makes two. Okay. Now we're talking. We're doing well. Two or four. We got in the top one. Without two more. <laughs> this is what you get for being an empty. And down we go. This is a nice one. Nice view. Very visually appealing. Nice music. Rope burn. Music's so good. I oh, know this one's interesting, right? The soundtrack with the new composer. There. The, um, as you know, the mainline games have um, some great composers in there, but Paul the Madden had a different one, a different composer. Alistair Curley. Oh yeah, you got it. Yeah. No, this is like a like a claw game. Yeah. No, oh, too heavy. Oh, super close. Glad to see that everyone is trying the same thing. Please. Sneak it, sneak it. Oh! oh. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. Oh, yes, yeah, very nice. Oh. There. Put that one down. Finding the optimal yeet spot, then cho choosing not to yeet. What a power move. Another world. Okay. That's okay. When Riddell fixes her transmitter, I can finally catch up with Ored. Assuming he doesn't figure out a way to dodge me again. Snowball. Wait, badge. <laughs> you don't even go for the the nicely set up uh, stuff on those uh, crates. You just go straight for oh, birds. Okay. <laughs> also, did everyone get some time off um, around Easter? Is that like a, a common thing everywhere? Just wanted to know how everyone's um, time off was, if they did get some. Anyone get up to anything? I was back in England. Oops. Oh, this is tough. Spent too much time with these snowballs. Oh, come on. Oh, this is, this is tough. This is. <laughs> no way in 
Let's just go snowball. Oh! I've got to get one. I'm confident, I'm confident. Yeah, that, that, that counts, that counts, that counts. That counts. <laughs> I spent the four days at Star Wars Celebration. My, I had a friend who was working there. I have a relative who uh, went. Um, I saw a lot of clips online. It looked great. I hope you had a great time, Kirsty. I took the whole week off because my girls were out of school. Did you get up to anything nice? Well, my mum and sister's daycare was closed for the week. Well, the thing is, I went back specifically because of the bank holiday, so my family would be off, but also because it's Easter time. So it must be a lot of chocolate. And then I went back and it all gone. I was devastated. I was like, what am I supposed to do? You know, I can't buy any Easter eggs. And then yesterday, listen to this. I was in Waterstones, the bookstore in Amsterdam. Why were they selling Easter eggs? I was like, I'll buy one of these <laughs> for half price. Um, but considering I was in England, like, oh, you know, oh, I wish I could buy an Easter egg. But I was too late. They'd all gone. If you know anything about like, uh, like massive supermarkets, they always like swap all of their seasonal stuff out way too early. You know, it's like Christmas and then on like the next day after Christmas, it's all like springtime, Valentine's Day. So I was just too late. I was like a day too late. Um, and then I was just strolling around. I bought a book yesterday in Waterstones. And then for some reason, they were just selling loads of Easter eggs. And I was like, okay, all good things come to those who wait. Chocolate eggs are literally the best part of Easter. Exactly, exactly. I, I bought a cream egg one. I actually wanted a mini eggs one, but they didn't have any. Did you forget anything while packing? I'm still afraid for my life. And you should be, Halo. But actually, it was fine in the end. It was all good. You're still some Easter eggs there? Where are you? Where are you? Mostly a staycation. We did take them bowling for the first time, though. Very nice. I enjoy a bit of bowling. Same in the States. Fourth of July stuff is already popping up. They are five and seven. Oh my gosh. Great ages, though. A nice age to go bowling as well. France, they still sell Easter eggs here too. What a joke. What a joke. I can't believe I went and I was like, just the one. The thing is, I went on Wednesday night last week and on Thursday I was in London the whole day because I was buying an outfit for a wedding. And then I was like, that's okay. I'll buy one tomorrow, Friday. And then I like went and it was all gone. And I was like, do you know what? <laughs> Do you know what? I regret. I regret going to London. I should have bought one Easter egg beforehand. You have way better chocolate over there, though. It takes me six to eight weeks to get crunchy bars. Oh my gosh, I love a crunchy. Do we have Easter eggs? You have brownies. Sadly, I did not get Easter off, though I did treat myself to a lovely dark chocolate bunny that day. Nice. VR version, that's crazy. Yes, we are playing Horizon Cool of the Mountain. Um, right. Our Horizon More VR game. Things. Made with Fire Sprite, both Gorilla and Fire Sprite. Banded well. together on this. Very nice. You've got all the pieces. Hooray! <laughs> oh, well, this must be the end of the main quest, right? Like okay. Once we head down, we'll start wrapping it up then. Hi, Nick. How are you? Oh. You can't see him. <laughs> it's okay. We're being treated to overtime. Time flies when you're having fun. Yes. Well, the thing is as well, because it's like, we do the 20 minutes of the interview or 15, 20 minutes, and then it's like, well, you still want to do like a nice substantial bit of gameplay. Doing good yourself. The trailer is crazy. Yes, I'm doing well, thank you. I'm glad to hear you like the trailer. What you found is useful, but you didn't get everything I need. Oh. So you can't make one of those transmitters? I can make one. It just wouldn't work. 
You'll have to search Talon Reach, see if you can find one of these. Oh, is that it? Oh. But we got you a circuit board and everything. Go to Talon Reach. Well, I think we're going to start case. wrapping up there then. Very, very nice. We achieved a nice main quest. We also did like a great interview at the start of the stream as well. Um, so it's been a good one. Also great views. Of course, always great views on Horizon. Also, I was reading a Reddit thread just to start wrapping things up. I was reading a Reddit thread today and um, they were talking about what their favorite uh, like settlement is in Horizon. You can, you can share it from any, any game. Um, but what is your favorite settlement? I'd love to know. Sun King Sarahin, the third Sun King. I can't wait to see the one that we have. Yeah, we'll find it after this. Sure oh, good question, Plain Song. Plain Song's already got two votes, okay. You can get like easy lost in Plain Song both theoretically and actually. Chain scrape, more specifically the bar, the old tavern. We do get a lot of praise for that tavern. I have to say Meridian, great views, fantastic architecture. So Meridian was actually like the most voted one. Practice with my son just before I go on. Which I was like, okay, I see that. Hidden Ember is also a great one. Free heap and not just because of Petra, but the way it's ruled by a woman in a patriarchal society. Hidden Ember is my fave. That's the thing. I like love Meridian. I love Hidden Ember. It's like I enjoy um, Fool's Edge. Plain Song, of course, is great. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough to choose. But Meridian was like by far the most like upvoted and, and commented. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the camera screen now because I feel we are at the end. And I hope you've all enjoyed the stream today and not just the stream people. I hope you've enjoyed what we've been sharing on our socials, of course. Um, we are so close to Burning Shores now. It's just around the corner. Um, how hype are we? Sunfall, now I'm kidding. <laughs> Meridian is cool. There is something cozy about the Nora villages. I, I think I actually cried a little when I first saw Meridian. Thanks for the gameplay, Lucas. You're welcome. You did some tough, some tough fights in that one. Yeah. That was wild. Like yeah. the, when when I was asking you, like, oh, what's the toughest machine? I was like, I wouldn't be surprised if you said Thunderjaw, but actually, I was like, I feel like I would have had the toughest time with the Shell Walker. And then after that, like the Shell Walker looked like a breeze <laughs> when we did the, when we did the um the like the group of watches and um and scrappers afterwards. Yeah, Lucas deserves more brownies. That's yeah. true. Yeah, <laughs> I will get one straight after this, get my energy back. I hope there's still some left. I'm sure there is. The trailer is amazing. In this game, can the character meet Aloy? You can. She makes a little all appearance. You get to speak to her. She's very small. A lot of people say she's very small, but actually I think we're the same height. I think she's five, six, I'm about five, five. But thanks everyone. Um, please keep an eye on our social channels um, for when we will be streaming next week. The schedule, I think, might be a little bit different just because of Burning Shores. So please keep your eyes out for that. Um, if you haven't already, please put us on notifications for Twitch as well. Um, and we will be back very soon with another stream. Also, with just more content on our social channels. So please keep an eye on our socials for the next, you know, up to Burning Shores and beyond. We'll be posting some really great content surrounding Horizon um, and Burning Shores, of course. So please, please keep an eye on that. Um, interact, let us know if you love the content and we'll know to keep making more. Thanks everyone, we'll see you again next time. Bye bye everyone. Bye bye.